Welcome to Time Winders. For this episode, I'll be talking about replacing the IWC calfskin leather strap with a rubber strap after wearing my Mark 20 for some time now. The unboxing will be presented with my voice as a trial. As I would prefer a material that doesn't age as quickly as leather and preserves the look and feel which I think the rubber strap does just that. And, it is also washable. In humid places like Singapore, having a sweaty wrist can feel a little uncomfortable on a leather strap. IWC has a section on its webpage that help owners like you and me seek out potential straps suitable for your timepiece. As mine falls under the pilot watch section, selecting that option brings me to a list of watches where I can look for the Mark 20 on a leather strap. Seems like mine would be further down below. IWC has also listed the relevant information such as the lug width to help owners better identify strap options. Once I've selected the Mark 20, various strap options are suggested below. But, I'll be looking for a black rubber strap. The black rubber strap costs 420 Singapore dollars and the buckle isn't included. Alright, so let's unbox the IWC rubber strap. So it does come in this box as well as a small pouch to actually keep the rubber strap. So let's take a look at the material. Open it up. Okay, so we actually find the rubber strap inside the pouch. And for this strap, I actually got it with the buckle, which they actually sell separately. You can also check them out on the website and you'll see the prices uh, in your own currency and there is an option to get the buckle as well. So the, the rubber actually does feel pretty good and the quick exchange system is pretty robust as well. I kind of like how easily uh, we can just take off the strap, change a new one and we're ready to go. So I'll just be showing you how it actually looks, especially the surfaces. Yep. And you can see how it bends. It's really pretty comfortable. So if you're looking to get a rubber strap, I would recommend to get the original IWC rubber strap. So here we'll just uh, unbuckle the, the leather strap. So you can see sometimes it takes a little bit more because you need to use your nails to like really press it in and remove it but with more practice I believe um, anyone will get the hang of it and you'll just be able to do it with one single press yeah. and putting it back isn't that difficult as well so you just have to hook it back and it just sits tightly uh, with a click of course and that's when you know that it's secured so you can actually test them and see whether it's secured before putting it on your wrist yeah so that's about it for the unboxing hope you guys enjoy it so here it is the mark 20 on a rubber strap on my wrist i do like the look and feel of this combination but do let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below thank you for watching today's episode please do like and subscribe to see our upcoming content See you in the next video.